I mean, there's so many options. I, I'd pretty much there, there's a lot of things. That I think we'd have to go down a list of what not to do. So, I'd like to win a race at Pocono. So, uh, pretty much anything. I would be willing to do anything to <laughs> win a race at Pocono Speedway. Um, there's uh, not much I'd hold back on to uh, get victory lane at Pocono. I, I've been able to do it before in the Arca Series, and it'd be really nice to do it uh, in the Xfinity Series or the Cup Series. I would be willing to commit felonies to win a Pocono Raceway. The last thing I do right before I go out to the racetrack is eat in the bus, have a little lunch, and, and then uh, roll out. And then I think the last thing I usually do is probably put my hand over my heart and listen to the national anthem. Then I get in. I think the most important thing I do right before the race is probably uh, get, get good enough rest and get hydrated uh, for the, the long races. The most important thing I do before a race is, uh, is listen to music, get in the zone, and uh, usually I choose some sort of super pumped up music like Dead Mouse or, or EDM stuff to get really pumped. Ooh. Ooh, I... So I, I kind of watch a lot of old school sh shows like King and Queen, Seinfeld, stuff that's that's uh, not being uh, produced anymore. So I don't know, I kind of go on new new shows. Uh, my girlfriend got me hooked into Nashville. Uh, we started watching Empire, so stuff like that. Go to binge watching television show, probably Seinfeld or Friends. I used to binge watch Sons of Anarchy, but now all I watch is Entourage, and I've watched the Entourage movie probably 25 times.